7-3 OSU, Tyler Waldron on the mound trying to close this thing out for Oregon State again. The tension's mounting and we certainly had an eventful ninth inning here and that <laughs> last batter, the last pitch actually from Matt Boyd. We had two situations that caused the head coaches to really go into a major argument. The first was from Lindsey Meggs. His argument was the ball hit then the pinch hitter, Andy Bethel. It's tough to tell on that angle if it hit him. Andy Bethel certainly tried to sell it. The home plate umpire, Steve Maddenly, said no. And then the snap throw after that to second. And Keith Jeanette looked like he blocked the bag. But Troy Scott was called safe on the play. So after all that, we're right back where we started with Tyler Waldron on the mound, facing now another pinch hitter in Chase Anselman with the count one ball and no strikes. Anselman is the tying run at the plate for Washington, and he has three home runs this year in Pac-10 play. And he takes the first pitch as a strike, and it's one and one. So if you're a crazy scorekeeper like me, the scheduled hitter in the eight hole was Jacob Lamb. He got pinch hit for, Huskies brought on Andy Bethel. Bethel faced Boyd, Boyd threw one pitch. <laughs> the Beavers made a pitching change, and now the third batter is Chase Anselman. So it went Lamb to Bethel to Anselman, all in the eight hole. Anselman fouls it back. So he has him buried one and two right now. Strikeout be nice, a ground ball double play would be even nicer for Oregon State. That would end the game. I think it's a likelihood. Anselman has grounded into four double plays in conference play this season. The one, two, off speed outside. Waldron with just an electric fastball. Been clocked as high as 96 miles an hour with that fastball, has an overhand curve. Sometimes uses a slider. Big curve to the lefty, slider to the right-hander. Tyler Waldron pitched one third of an inning yesterday, allowed one hit, but no runs. The 2-2, two -two. fouled off. Nice little piece of hitting by Anselman, working his hands inside the ball. Another dangerous freshman in this Huskies order. Mention all the great freshmen in the Pac-10, he's certainly another one of them. Yesterday alone went two for four with a triple. Came into the series hot. He had two homers versus UCLA last weekend. Catcher by trade. Looks like a catcher. I've got a blocky body. Must win series for both of these teams. Trying to edge their way back into the top half of the Pac-10 by the end of the season, which would put them in great position to make the NCAA tournament. The 2-2. Fights it off. And this is where Anselman does a better job. I remember earlier mentioning how a hitter tried to keep the ball fair. Well, this pitch right here, there's no way you can keep, there's no, no reason to even try to keep it fair. Just take a rip at it, and if it goes foul, that's great. It's not a very good pitch anyway. You know, as a hitter, just, just take a rip at it. Can't aim it. Do it again, the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Tyler Waldron in the ninth inning, and the Beavers are one out away from winning this series. And Waldron, who threw the big slow curve ball to Anselman with two strikes, came back with a hard slider here. This is more of the hard breaking ball. Gets Anselman, Anselman swinging off the top, and now another pinch hitter for the Huskies, Andy Smith. And bringing a left handed bat to face the hard throwing Waldron in his 95 mile an hour heat. Anselm, Anselman was a freshman. Andy Smith, another freshman. Smith hitting 208 on the season. He is homerless. If you're thinking about a possible game tying grand slam. First pitch. Off speed in for a strike. I think all of the bench players for Washington that hit left handed are freshmen. Smith. Anselman, who you just saw, and Brian Wolf, who I believe is injured. Misses. 
Just in. Any kind of base hit, Oregon State will be extra careful to keep the batter runner, Smith, off of second base where he becomes the tie and run. Basically a no doubles defense out there. Outfield extremely deep, infield all the way back. Corners guarding the lines. 1-1 one, one from Waldron. That no doubles defense always sounds good, but I always think that that memo should be shot to the pitcher. <laughs> Really the guy that's uh, in charge of keeping that guy from hitting the double. Huskies down to their final strike. Andy Smith just one for 10 in Pac-10 play. Two for 11 would be huge. Tyler Waldron could win this series right here for the Beavers. The one two to Smith. Strike three swinging. Well, the great thing about relievers, you always want to have a reliever that gets the first guy out. Obviously, the first two was even better. Matt Boyd did a real good job. He got the Beavers out of trouble in the seventh, got him into trouble in the ninth. Tyler Waldron gets the Beavers out of trouble in the ninth and saves the game for the Beavers. Oregon State once again giving their fans here at Goss Stadium their money's worth. Another very exciting and eventful ninth inning, but Oregon State wins game two and wins this series seven to three. We'll be back in a moment to put a wrap on this one. The Beavers take care of business.